I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. So settle yourself, gather yourself, come home to yourself as you are. Being kind to yourself in many ways begins with being kind to your body, helping the sweet animal of the body, as I think Mary Oliver put it, soft animal, find a place of comfort while also being alert, present. Letting the sound of the bell pass through awareness. Giving yourself over to being present. Surrendering to being present. There's a kind of disenchantment and renouncing of typical preoccupations, stresses, anxieties, plans, fantasies, little mental movies, little trains of thought. You know, in meditation, we, we deliberately let them go. We let them be uninteresting so that we are not hijacked from present moment awareness. We're choosing to stay present again and again. It's helpful to find something simple and good to rest attention on, which for many are the would be the sensations of breathing. For others, it might be a word or image or emotion, such as lovingness or gratitude. Unless you can, from the start, just drop into sustained open awareness and presence, it's helpful to start with steadying the mind through ongoing contact with some object of attention such as breathing. You could be aware of the feeling of breathing and air flowing in, filling your chest, and then flowing out, rising and falling.
You might be aware of the breath at a particular place, such as around your upper lip and nose. Or you might be particularly aware of the internal sensations of air flowing in and flowing out chest rising and falling. or aware of the area of the diaphragm, just below the rib cage, which tends to descend a little bit as you inhale and rise a little bit as you exhale. Awareness of the diaphragm can be especially helpful with anxiety. And you might like to be aware of the sense of your body as a whole as you breathe, particularly the internal sensations of breathing, air flowing in and out, chest rising and falling, diaphragm descending and rising, internal sensations around various joints, such as hips and shoulders, neck and throat as you breathe. Even a sense of your legs and arms, fingers and toes, subtle sensations there as you breathe being aware of the body as a whole, as a single field of many sensations. The sense of things as a whole can be particularly calming and releasing and comforting.
establishing stable presence while being aware of your body as a whole, even as little thoughts wander through awareness. Stabilizing presence in the present.
while becoming increasingly stable in presence. If you like, you can gently, from time to time, focus on different kinds of releasing and letting go. For example, scanning your body and letting go of tension in various places. Letting go also, if you like, of specific worries for this time or even beyond this time together. Letting the sediments settle in your mind. So as the pool of awareness becomes increasingly clear, letting your mind become quieter, less preoccupied, less caught up in the daily whirl, letting go. Feeling increasingly undisturbed and at ease.
And as you become more and more stably present, mind quieting and coming into a growing stillness, you can also gently invite in or come home to wholesome qualities of open-heartedness, love, inviting a sense of feeling content in the present as it is. Inviting or coming home to the deep layers in your own psyche that are innately wakeful, aware. caring, content, peaceful, and wise, resting in the deep roots of your own being.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>